Okay, let's take our first real look at the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. This is the uh, 380 version. We call it the BG380. So far, kind of impressed. We saw this at the SHOT Show this year, earlier in, earlier in the year. And I can't say it was my favorite thing at the show. Uh, after seeing their, their 38 revolver up close and personal, kind of changed my mind on it a little bit. And now that we've seen this one up close and personal, uh, for the most part, a lot of us are really liking this one. So let's take a look at some of the features right away. We've got a nice drop-free magazine, witness holes and numbers on both sides, everything I look for in a magazine. This particular one has a little bit of a, a finger groove here on the uh, floor plate. You'll see that it comes with a smoother floor plate for better concealability. Uh, it has last round lock open, at least it locks open on an empty mag. We haven't shot it yet to see if it locks back when shooting. But it does have a slide lock, which means that we can bring it back and lock it back manually. We've got a, uh, I think that's a safety. So if you're the type that likes an external safety, it's there. And then uh, the biggest feature on it is the built-in laser. So we've got a laser, and then we've got pulsing laser, and then it's off. And the switches are on both sides, so fully ambidextrous. It's just built into the front here. So unlike a lot of them, you don't have something filling up your trigger guard and then giving you a button, or clamping onto your trigger guard and giving you a button. Uh, no rails, but it's right there, at least for me, it's real easy to hit with my finger. Uh, or, the way I shoot, I can easily bring my thumb up as well and activate it. Uh, so far, it's taken a little getting used to. The little rubber buttons um, are a little easier to hit on the right side than it is on the left side. But it's nice that they give you the ambidextrous feature. Kind of alluded to the sights here before, but look at those sights. I really like them. For one, they're dovetails, so they could potentially be replaced if these catch on and uh, manufacturers start to build sights for them will be able to switch them out, but even if they don't, pretty aggressive high profile sights for a little 380, which means that you can still shoot it without using your sights too much, maybe just using the uh, laser as a sighting reference, but if you do want to take a longer range shot, uh, you do have that ability. Pretty nice sight picture actually. Uh, some other features on it are uh, inside, so let's open it up. You know that it's empty. We've got this tape down here, which sort of pops down and then comes out. Bring it forward. You don't have to pull the trigger. It's got full frame rails, so this entire section, the frame rides along this entire section, all the way from front to back. Very substantial. Really impressed with it. Its frame just seems thicker. If we look at the dimension between the magazine and the wall, you can see that there's just a lot of polymer here. I would say it's almost as thick there as it is on its trigger guard, if not thicker. Um, just really substantial in the hand. No flex or wobble or anything. I really like it so far. Looking inside, we have a double uh, recoil spring. One spring inside of the other. We've got a steel guide rod. Barrel is very Glock like or you know like a lot of the little 380s. Fairly nice rifling. This one's a little dirty from its test firing. It does have a firing pin safety. Let's put the spring back in too while we're at it. Easy disassembly for cleaning. Wiggles right back into place. Of course, made in the U.S. Big feature, a big plus for me. As far as ergonomics, the magazine release is recessed, which I find real effective in a small pistol. It's got thumb grooves on both sides, so it's definitely set up to be ambidextrous. I don't think that the mag release will work on both sides, but because of its location, 
I find it pretty easy to uh, hit with my left hand as well as my right. Uh, because it has a nice place to let your thumb ride, there's no inclination or no reason for it to ride on the th mag release. That extra little bit of the floor plate there lets you really get a, a second finger on this thing, no problem. So this dimension is nice and long. Again, the trigger guard is nice. Uh, unless it somehow is really bad at the range, this might be in running for my next 380 pistol. I know I've said that in the past with other brands, but after we did our fairly elaborate uh, review earlier this month, uh, my mind kind of changed on some of the ones that I had thought, and I kind of changed my opinions. And now I'm really, really digging this one. Um, I'm not entirely impressed with the laser where you have to hit it once to have the laser, twice to get the pulsing laser, and then a third time to turn it off. But considering it's in, included in the pistol, you know, I'm not going to give it too much trouble for that. It has finger grooves here on both the floor plate of the magazine and then on the grip. It's got a fairly aggressive uh, texture on the back, a little bit more sandpaper like, a little bit more aggressive on the sides, and then a little bit between the thing, the finger grooves, which really creates a nice solid grip on it with either hand. So ergonomics, uh, 8 out of 10, maybe more in my book. Got a little little beaver tail there. Seems a little high for a bore axis, but with all these features, lock back, decent sights, good mag release, uh, solid construction for those reasons. Uh, what seems to be a perceived high bore axis is probably not going to bother me. Taking a look at the box the bodyguard comes in, the BG380 comes in the same box that their revolver comes in. Uh, it also comes in the soft case, lock, spent case. Uh, something else that it's got that's kind of cool is the uh, extra floor plate. So if for some reason you thought that this floor plate was just extending out too much, you've got this really smooth one you can replace it with and it would uh, reduce its profile quite a bit. It has an elastic holster pocket and then a place for an extra magazine. Looks like it only comes with one magazine, however. We've got the uh, instructions here. And I just wanted to check when it talks about ammunition. When we talk about plus P, it says that plus P is okay. However, it can accelerate the wear of the machine. And plus P plus, it says, should never be used in Smith & Wesson firearms. So you get a pretty nice manual with it. Great little pistol. pistol so far. So it's the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard, the BG380. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year. Practice at least once a month and carry every day. Thanks for watching gunwebsites.com.